all the positive, all, all the Pac-27 on the hydrogen peroxide goes when it's supplied <coughs> separately, because it kills the algae. And the algae sinks to the bottom. When it dies, it's going to decompose. And those nutrients are released back into the water column. And that's the other question I have that concerns me with the flaws off treatment is that when the lake was treated for algae control in 2000, this year, when that dead algae sank to the bottom, it should have been locked up in the bottom setting to the fossil. Was fossil not the No. No. But the fossil treatment was designed to seal the bottom settings. So when the treatment was performed this year to kill the algae, when that algae sank to the bottom, if the fossil was working the way it's supposed to work, it should have bound that phosphorus into the fossil that's on the bottom of the lake. But something that we don't know. Happened, but you know, two weeks after that Pac-27 treatment went in, the lake bloomed again. So that's another indication that possibly the fossil didn't find the fossil. We don't know. We're not going to know because you get out there and make some samples. Your comments have been oriented on Lake Lorraine. Have you done anything with Lake Ponds? Not as extensive as we've done on Lake Lorraine. But there is a proposal out to the Homeless Association for algae treatment on Lake Ponce de Leon. Okay, this is another generalized question. If you're going to have an activity at Lake Ponce, is there a possibility that you could include Lake Jean? That's, that's, well, I, I can't answer that question. I mean, is it possible? Yes, we could. I'm we really talking about capacity. Your capability of oh, yeah. staff of three or five. Oh, yeah. that, that's not going to be a problem. The problem is going to be organizing with the different people who have the authority to ask them, is it, should it be treated or should not be treated. No, we don't. It's not going to be a problem at all. state monitors on your boats when you're, or any ecology monitors? On you know, that's a good question. Um, you can request ecology to be present. Uh, we have done it in the past. They have been out on their boats. So, yeah, we, we don't know. Uh, coming back to the general presentation. I was very pleased, Dan, that in the September meeting, some of us were vocal about Lake Team and suggested that one of your test sites be at the outlet of Lake Team. The fact that you did that, very much appreciated. Any more? No? Go ahead. So we've listened all night on experimental program to deal with the algae in the lake after hearing a long presentation about the nutrients entering the lake and we're not doing a single thing to address the fact that we've got those nutrients entering the lake and that leads to what I would say would be a perpetual treatment of the lake because uh, we have not addressed phosphorus coming into the lake, regardless of whether it's coming from geese or from Joe's Creek or both or other sources. Well, I, I believe that the real crust of this pond is Joe's Creek. And there are alternatives that, that you could apply to Joe's Creek. It wouldn't require seasonal treatments or monthly treatments. But they're expensive. We're looking at installing some type of system on the creek that is going to Either basically treat the water coming out of from Joe's Creek before it comes in the lake or rain. And you're looking at systems that could be a half a million dollars. And I don't I don't know what the financial capability is of this organization. Well that wouldn't be the HOA. We don't own Joe's Creek. Well you don't you don't own Joe's Creek, but if the concern is that the water in like the rain is it's toxic and you want you don't want to hear the treatments, well then somebody's gotta come forth and say, okay, let's do something in Joe's Creek. Let's treat the work in Joe's Creek. Well, what's going into Joe's Creek? 
you're still treating a problem that's washing downstream. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, there's, there's a lot of variables involved, you know. We've been involved with these type of questions and problems for 30 years. And, and, and I can tell you this. Give, that, given that, is there an example, and this is an experimental treatment, is there an example of some place where it's been applied and it's worked and, and solved the problem and keep getting the extra water? It's to control nutrients in the extreme system. I can give you first-hand knowledge system to call Silicon Lake. Silicon Lake is two creeks. They created, they had a huge study done, 300000 dollars study done. Off the way on creek. That's the problem. They correct the problem. They went to various municipalities, everybody said, no, 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 you're not doing anything. So if my homeless association decided to hey, nobody wants to do anything, it's ended up in our lake, we're going to take matters of our own hand. They sued the state agencies, they sued the city of Lakewood, they sued the county, they sued the Fort Air Force Base. They spent over a million dollars. And when they finally went to trial, the determination was even if the association won, the judge would not be able to make an award because he wouldn't know how to allocate the award to all the different people in, within the watershed that were creating the problem. So they basically lost. They didn't lose because they didn't have an argument. They lost because there was no way for the, the courts to determine what the responsibility of 30 different parties were. And I don't know how many parties were on George Street. It was an expensive lesson in um, environmental law. And so, as Dan was saying, you know, a point source solution to Joe's Creek is very simple. But if it's not a point source solution, you may never find an answer. The problem may always be there. I, I think that's something that, that we have to be prepared for. If you, if you get online and you read of other lakes around the state, around the country, uh, I, I can't find any that are, that are being successfully treated, it, it just doesn't exist. It's just putting band-aids after band-aids. If, if you go look at uh, Anderson Lake uh, in uh, Jefferson County, the state, it's in a state park. They've been dealing with it for 10 years, closing the park uh, every year. Nobody can use it. You look at what happens in cities. Uh, Seattle closes Green Lake, puts up signs. Uh, Bellevue does the same thing on Lake Washington. Uh, I think uh, we, we, we're possibly facing a, an unsolvable problem. Well, it's very we, likely that we are facing we, an unsolvable problem. We poured $40,000 into Foslock treatment that got us nothing. I, well, no, 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 it didn't. It gave you usable water body for the season. Yeah, for one season. Well, that may be. That's my point. Well, that may be the, the solution to your problem. You can't control the nutrients in Joe's Creek. The association may decide, well, let's just treat the lake every year, once a year. It's going to cost us this much money every year, and it's budgeted that much per year. I don't know what other solutions are going to be. It's a hard, difficult question. You still have a lake as a I'm exempt. Their, their budget is over three hundred thousand dollars a year. I have a question for the city reps in regards to the grant that might be forthcoming. That is designed to be of concern of the Joe's Creek project watershed. Correct? Yeah, I have the familiar. I can't remember all the. But I think it still includes more stormwater sampling, which could include a representation of stormwater inputs to both lakes. Okay, <coughs> you, made the, you made the magic word both lakes. Yeah. Is there some way that what's been done for Lake Marine from the investigative standpoint 
be done for Lake Jean, i.e., what's the success of the aeration and so forth and so on? Is that something that could be funded out of the grant? No, the, the grant the grant is a finite <coughs> work plan scope of work for that grant. So it's already in the pipeline. They've already they've it's already, already been spoken for. Yeah, they've already evaluated our proposal, which only can, like I said, it's it's similar to what we it's similar to what we've already done with more sampling in the watershed, try to try to find out the Jones Creek problem, which does impact Lake Lake Lorene and I mean Lake Jean as well. Okay. You you as the city stormwater manager uh, agree that this approach is logical. I I can't I'm you're not, not you're not, not gonna I'm not a Concerned with the water flow into the lake? Uh, to a certain extent, and, and to manage our stormwater system to the best that we can. Okay, to the best of my knowledge, 